Awesome. Mine is. <laughs> they like me more. Hello. <laughs> no. That's what it is. Is it? Oh, it is. It is. Hey. Right. Um, whilst he sets up, I'll tell you a uh, poem myself. Sing a song of sixpence, a pocket full of pie, four and twenty blackbirds baked in a pie. When the pie was opened, the king said, this is a literally a ridiculous recipe for a pie, <laughs> considering I'm allergic to blackbirds and pastry, <laughs> and I'm the king. So, uh, <laughs> sorry, I was, I was jealous of everyone else uh, doing, uh, doing poetry. <laughs> But yes, uh, my name is Frizz, and this is my partner Liam. Uh, writing partner. Right, yeah, fine. <laughs> writing partner, and what we do is we go from uh, venue to venue, from gig to gig, and we perform as a couple. <coughs> do you all? <laughs> What's wrong? Don't say couple. It, it's the same. It's the it's same not, word. Don't say it's the same word. It's not because. Duo implies that we work together as one man and another man. A couple implies... <laughs> you think the lady doth protest too much. Uh, right, listen, okay, you at a risk. I'm stood up here, I'm in a pretty waistcoat. People are going to have that idea of me already. I don't need you to make it any worse, all right? Well, I've got my, I just, look, I've got you, my you sexy it, hat. Yes, you look very good. Don't go talking sexy when I'm trying to tell people we're not gay. Right. Listen. Right, we're running the risk here, all right? You're doing the same thing. It's like yeah. Barlow Williams thing. Barlow right? Williams. You know, that... Gary Barlow and Robbie Williams did that, that right. song, didn't they? Uh, shame. Didn't shame. They? Uh, yeah, there's a video all over YouTube of no, the shame that video. That music video was fine. It was they, fun. Were, oh, they, they, they were. they were they were doing lovely manly stuff together. It was nothing. You're, you're a bit you're a bit protective about this, aren't you? Hello. <laughs> Well, there's three versions of this story, mine and yours, and then the truth. And we can sit here reminiscing whilst we chat and drink vermouth. <laughs> we could go horse riding and stuff, and then work out until we're buff, because we enjoy a little outing. <laughs> Just like a friendly cowboy team, it's reminiscent from a scene that I once saw in Brokeback Mountain. <laughs> It might sound gay, we're not, I promise We both like women, to be honest And we might spend a day strolling in the park Picnicking and having a lark But we're not gay Now I spend hours in the mirror Simply working on my quiff Ooh, and I enjoy all of his hair gel Cause it makes him go all stiff <laughs> We could go fishing, me and you And we could take our shirts off too And dip our rods into the water <laughs> Pretty sure that's not what I meant When I asked you to pitch a tent Are you sure? I'm pretty sure, yeah <laughs> It might sound gay, we're not, I swear it We get in trouble with our parents And we could spend a day strolling in the park Picnicking and having a lark Check out to remarks Plus we get our clothes from Primark Which proves we're not gay <laughs> We're not gay. Ooh. We're not gay. So not gay. <laughs> right. I think that's set the record straight. Yeah, so uh, not, not gay. I don't think there will be any confusion from here on out. I think if any ladies want to date me afterwards, that's uh, perfectly feasible to do. Once upon a time, I thought vampires were shit. But saying that right now isn't smart. I'm in a crowded cinema. And twilight eclipse is to start. <laughs> That's a song about twilight. <laughs> oh, 
Molly Williams in this thing. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just stay in the background. <laughs> so pretty back there, my friend. Okay. <laughs> this next song is written uh, basically about a lot of relationships, uh, many that I've been in, where you just see the other person in the relationship falling apart in front of your eyes. Still a little bit of your taste in my mouth Still a little bit of your waste that I threw out And it's getting hard to say What's going on? Still a little bit of you there in my head There's still a little bit of your hair in my bed I haven't got a clue Just what the fuck is going on <laughs> And every time you cough And a bandage falls off <laughs> And your skin, it starts to unfurl it ain't hard to hurl <laughs> when you're dating a leper girl. <laughs> when I get a letter off you, I do hope there's not a little bit of your tongue in the envelope. I know you've got Hansen's disease, which is the medical term for leprosy. <laughs> I just have to laugh Because you've hired staff To fish out your toes When you finish your bath And it's not hard to hurl When you're dating a leper Every time you cough And a bandage falls off and your skin, it starts to unfurl And it's not hard to hurl When you're dating a leper And my stomach swirls And I don't want to offend her It's not hard to hurl When you're dating a leper Girl <laughs> That's why I don't let him sing on his own. That's <laughs> it. Uh, oh, yeah. Sorry, just let me. Find That's fine. Notes. That's fine. We'll we'll we'll, we'll flick. We'll flick. Yes. I'm completely lost. This is why I don't let me sing on my own. Yes. Because <laughs> you just mess up the page. I do. I just crazy. I've got a boot full of shit on each page. Professionals, everybody. <laughs> we, we, we do bar mitzvahs, too. <laughs> so lately, been pondering A riddle that is on my mind Been searching the answer I've even googled it online <laughs> Keeps me awake at night It affects me mentally <laughs> Well, I hope there's someone out there who Could answer this for me How much wood could I Chuck, Chuck, if a woodchuck could chuck wood Is in loads or a few That's if a woodchuck could chuck wood
Right, the uh, the next song is, um, w well, um, we tried to do some TV theme tunes um, for various productions, but they wouldn't let us do them because they were the same tune as a currently popular song. Who knew? It's a, it, who knew? Who knew indeed? So, uh, Liam, if you'd like to uh, play this... Uh, Let it never be said Fighting the undead Is the easiest job That has ever been set Fighting ghosties and ghouls And the stuff in between Whilst we're driving around In the mystery machine <laughs> scooby dooby dooby doo -dee. For you. Oh, oh. If there's ever a scare, a turn abandoned fair, we'll always guarantee that you'll always be there. Well, the laughter is canned and the jokes are all weak, and we don't understand when you're trying to speak. <laughs> Tits of you, baby! Oh, oh, oh. Been looking everywhere for you! Oh, oh, oh. Bridge! Could it be, could it be, you're pretending to be a ghost because your life is on the skids? <laughs> At the end of the day, you'd have gotten away if it weren't for us meddling kids! <laughs> Cock of you, babe! <laughs> Been looking everywhere for you! Speak Latin and you don't have shields. You and me would make bad Romans. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Is that our second last song? Yeah, for our for our first encore. <laughs> we'll have to see you on. Yeah, because uh, otherwise, otherwise... Oh, thanks! Oh, God! Oh, God! Oh, God! This is a complete surprise to me! <laughs> we were totally unprepared! So usually I have a harmonica for this song, but I don't. That's literally the introduction. <laughs> <laughs> it's five o'clock on a Saturday and I'm watching BBC One. All of the sport has finished now. I'm wondering what else is on. <laughs> I'm on again. <laughs> well, tonight shows the run out so merrily But my feelings, they are worsening Cos half the shows announced they make me want to flounce Cos they've got the same person in Oh la 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 di da La 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 di da da dum TV John Barrow man <laughs> stops causing us people grief cause it would be fine if you left for a while and fucked up with your shiny white teeth 
<laughs> John used to host live and kicking. Now he performs a lot at West End. He tried to find Maria with Andrew Lloyd Webber. Now prefers to find Nancy's instead. <laughs> Captain Jack Harkness is a character who was in Doctor Who for a bit. An American tough, he got his own spin-off, which sadly turned out to be shit. <laughs> la 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 di da La 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 di da da dom Get off my TV, Joe Barrow Man! Stop causing us people grief Cause it'll be fine if you left for a while And fucked off with your shiny white teeth <laughs> Get off my TV, John Barrow Man What shows are you in tonight? Are you in something lame on BBC Three? Or are you in the kids are all right? Or tonight's the night? Or Torchwood Declassified? Or some of that sh show? <laughs> Final song again to do tonight. Um, basically, I'm, I'm a big, big fan of the Radio One Live Lounge, where people do covers of other people's songs. Am I the only person who knows this? Um, one of my imaginary ones in my crazy fantasy world I live in. It's, it's, it's better than beer. It's brilliant. It's like it's just my brain. It's amazing. Um, I was hoping that James Blunt would go in one day and do a '90s rap song. A shizzle. That's how it sound. West Philadelphia was born and raised on the playground is where I spent most of my days chilling out Max, you know, relaxing all cool, shooting some bebop outside the school when a couple of guys they were up to no good, started making trouble in my neighborhood. I got in one little fight and my mom got scared. She said, you're moving with your auntie and uncle. <laughs> Why was she so scared? I had to go to Bel Air. <laughs> Well, I whistled for a cab, and when it came later, the license plate said fresh and it what a dice in the radiator. <laughs> if anything I could say that this cab was rare, but I thought, nah, forget it. Yo home to Bel Air. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, Philadelphia. <laughs> Goodbye, my friends. You have been the one. You have been the one for me. Goodbye, Philadelphia. And Jesse, Jesse Jeff, and Jeff. You have been the one. You have been the one for me. <laughs> Sorry, some drunken people are sort of scrabbling and saying one more. Which is, um, I'm sure you, you all want to go to the toilet at some time. But uh, I just love when, when people are expecting it to be the break and they've got a fact. One more! Right. One more! <laughs> one more! Super Mario! One more! Super Mario. Oh. I know the ones I've done. That's fine, that's fine. We, we, we know he, he's requested. This stuff. is the last one, we promise. It's fine, it really, really, really is. Just because we haven't written anything. <laughs> <laughs> Essentially. <laughs> this is a song about a Nintendo game. <laughs> <laughs> when I got my game today, it really was a treat. I grabbed my driving wheel 
and stepped into the driving seat. The lightning bolts are a bastard, and the mushrooms make you speed. On Mario, can't we? Yeah. I've got the punchline. And I don't stay and leave the house now. I just stay in the basement. And we should get some free ones, what with all this product placement. <laughs> the bikes are faster than the carts, they glide with the best of ease. On Mario Kart, we how predictable. <laughs> when you read as hell, when you hit a blue shell, when you're in first place. And it never is the time when you can win the race. And suddenly you're, you're hit by ink and you can't see. <laughs> On Mario Kart, we. <laughs> then I realized that you could play online and you could play as Princess Peach if you're that way inclined. <laughs> right. <laughs> but if the course is Rainbow Road, I think I'll fucking scream on Mario Kart we on Mario Kart we. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the break. Let's say back here for half past nine.